Champions League final is under a week away and EA have given us a showdown for the Champions League final. Of course, Man City versus Inter Milan. And the first one we're going to be reviewing today is Phil Foden. And oh my God, is he expensive. I think EA obviously are pricing this because Man City are big favourites. And it's going to cost you a 90, 89, 88 and 85 rated squad he is five foot seven high high work rates left footed four star four star he's got 91 pace and 95 dribbling 88 shooting 90 passing 64 defending and 72 physical if he gets to plus two which he probably will unfortunately and uh, they're going to do the treble which is really really tough being a united fan 93 pace 97 dribbling 90 shooting 92 passing 66 for defending and 74 for physical his traits, he's got no traits that you really care about. He does have flair, but it doesn't really matter too much really in-game. Foden has also got a fair amount of alternate positions. Comes out as a left wing, can play left mid, cam and centre forward, which is really, really nice. As we go into the in-games, he's got 95 acceleration with 87 sprint speed. 93 attack positioning, 89 finishing. 93 for shot power, 87 long shots. Poor volleys and penalties. His passing is really Really good. 94 vision, 84 crossing, 94 for short pass, 90 for long pass, and then 81 curve. 97 agility and 97 balance. He's got 89 reactions, 97 ball control, 93 dribbling, and 91 composure. He's actually not that bad defensively either if you wanted to play him in that kind of 4-3-2-1 attacking centre mid role with, you know, 66 defensive awareness and 67 stand tackle and interceptions as well. Makes him able to play that role decently well, even though he is a forward-thinking player. He's got 60 jumping, 97 stamina, poor strength, and not the best aggression either. So, don't expect much from him physically, but he's going to make up for that with his insane, insane dribbling. Chem style for this card is... I, I feel like a hunter is something that a lot of you will consider, but I think his pace is good enough for how good his dribbling is. I'm going to be playing him as a cam, a middle cam in a 4 1 2 and 2 narrow. And I think the Deadeye is going to be really good for him. Now, let me explain as to why. So, the Deadeye does his vision and short pass up to 99, which is brilliant. Goes up to 85 curve. And the boost, it, the boost in shooting is brilliant. 99 attack positioning, 97 for finishing, 99 for shot power, and then 91 for long shots. It's a really good boost. You could go for an engine actually as well. Or a marksman to boost some reactions up if you want to. Maybe a maestro too. But I really wanted to boost the finishing as much as I could. And this does a really good boost to said finishing. And as I said, it's going to be the 4-1-2-2 two narrow. With him as the only cam, as you can see there. With Mbappe and Diaby up front. Gundogan and Alwa as the two box-to-boxes. Kante as the CDM. Tio Hernandez, Klaus as the full-backs. Ruben Diaz and Virgil as the defenders. Or the centre-backs, I should say. Let's get into a few games with Phil Foden. And see how good he is. For cheap FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a 5% discount. Alright then guys, the first game with our man Phil Foden. What are we up against? How my settings changed? No, they haven't. Thank God. Cool. Right, let's, uh, let's see what Foden can do then. Because I'm expecting a lot from him because of his dribbling. Just his dribbling alone should make him feel crazy. That's got to be a foul. Yeah. Just a little bit of arm on dribbling there just to kind of... Um, move a bit quicker and we managed to get a foul out of it straight away. That is awful from our while. Nice from Kante though. Let's keep that ball moving. Oh, there we go. Into Hernandez. Nice good play. Awa. Good football. Oh no 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 no. Foden. Oh oh that is so so frustrating. He's using Lozano. What an odd choice. Okay. Nice for Foden there. Oh, man. He is very weak. He shouldn't have lost the ball there. Nice from Diaz. Never mind. Not nice from Diaz. Oh, man. This is uh, this is already stressful. First game of the day and, and, and all that kind of stuff too. So, get to that. Get to that. Oh, this guy's got this guy's got a really weird team. I can't lie. He's got Kavatsky Alia as well. Jesus Christ. Nice from Ruben there. Right. Foden. Can he find that ball? Oh, my God. You guys know where I've aimed that, right? Nice. Foden, that's a nice pass. Into Awa. Awa with the dribbling. Foden with the sprint boost. Nice. 
Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm lucky not to score there. Um, interesting start from Foden. Hasn't been great, I'm not going to lie. But it is early doors. Um, just feels very, very, very lightweight. Too lightweight. Um, and I'm, I'm a kind of guy that likes uh, Diaby, but I haven't uh, felt this card early doors here. I, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan early doors. I know it's very, very early. Nice from Foden there. Right, we've got to try and play this. Yeah, see, in especially on new gen, you expect his dribbling to be better than what it actually is because it's new gen, um, and it's really, really tough to get used to. Oh my, oh my God, man. Yeah, we're gonna go one nil down. Well, no, we're not. Okay. Yeah, poor start though, guys. Really poor start. Um, go on, Foden, find that. Yeah, that's a lovely through ball. There goes DRB one nil. Very nice. It really is a case of using this card and, and, and making sure you don't get near like the midfielders and defenders. You want to try and dribble through them because if he gets even a piece of wind, a bit of wind blows on him, he is going to get pushed off the ball. It, he does feel like that. I don't really like that personally. Nice for Foden there. Nice, good ball as well. You have to make sure you're staying away from every player basically. That's nice. Oh my God. Take the corner there. Okay, this guy's paused it. I'll bring you back. That dude decided to leave, guys. So we've gone into another live game here. And let's see what Foden can offer us here. Is that lack of blood clots there? It is, isn't it? And yeah, let's, let's see what the man can do here. Um, yeah, he, he does feel really weak though, right? He feels like Foden is one of them cards that... Wait, what's this guy doing? Put the pad down. What's he doing? Okay, never mind. Yeah, Foden is one of them cards that if new or old gen or current gen, whatever you want to call it, good goal. Current gen, old gen was still the main generation. Foden would be a lot better because uh, you can feel the, the gliding abilities of a card like this a lot more. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. Of course, we will test him on old gen. Nice, well done there. I don't feel that's lovely. No, uh, that's the problem, man. I haven't passed it there. Wow, he's done well to hold him off there. Get that in there, nice, good ball. I want to try finesse with him, but we might not be able to set one up, unfortunately. That's a lovely play. Foden's on the ball. Good pass into Gundogan, who is, I think, the most informed player in world football right now. What a finish as well from Gundogan. Assist there for Foden. And do, do you know what's weird about Foden and the way he plays? Honestly, you're going to call me quick. You have to play really simple with him. Oh, that's a lovely pass. Jamie, yeah, 2 1. Oh, man. That was a lovely pass. And yeah, honestly, I feel like you have to play simple with him. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous. But once you start doing too much dribbling and stuff. I feel like then the issues start to come in. I know that sounds absurd. But you kind of have to play with him. Um, you know, he, he, you can feel how good his dribbling is. But I feel like if you play simple with him, you're going to get the most out of him. You know, quick passes, get the ball into him, lay it off quickly. No, Not too much dribbling with him. Don't go for cutbacks with him. He's not that kind of player. Get the ball into him and get the ball moving quickly um, is what I think. Oh my God, that touch. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that touch into the space there was dirty. Oh, we're so, so unlucky. Oh, Jesus. So unlucky we haven't scored there, man. Because that was honestly beautiful. That, that little touch to get around the defender there. Like, I, I didn't even do it myself, I must admit. And then you've got cutbacks. I do love a good cutback. I really don't. I really, really don't. That is a lie. Oh, that's poor for me. Yeah, guys. Uh, an interesting card so far, I'm not going to lie. Excited to go on to Old Jim with him because I feel like he's going to be a lot better over there. Um, you know, I don't think he's bad over here. He's certainly not worth the four squads he costs. Uh, but yeah, let's go to highlights from here, guys. Foden! Oh, man. I'm not impressed with him on new gen, guys, I'll be honest. That's lovely. 
Yeah, that's a nice goal, that. That was really nice, quick play between Foden and Mbappe there. His passing's good. He's too weak, though, man. He, d he doesn't really suit new gen gameplay, to be honest. He's a good passer, guys. Um, but that really is the long and short of it on, on new gen. Um, this guy's a very good player, and it's a very sweaty game. So, you know, th th this is a great test for said card, and I'm not impressed. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, that is so unlucky. Oh, he's an absolutely unbelievable passer. I have to give him credit. Foden! Oh. All right then, guys. So time for old gen now with Philip Foden. And let's see what he does have to offer. As I said, he was good on, um, on new gen for a few things. Or maybe just one thing, and it's passing. I feel like on old gen, he's going to be a lot better because you're going to be able to feel that left stick dribbling a little bit more. He's going to be a bit more responsive. You know, it, the game just isn't that responsive on uh, new gen, in, in my personal opinion. As we go 1-0 down, and it's just wonderful. And we're going to celebrate as well. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. I haven't got into this game at all yet. See, see what I mean straight away there. You can feel that a lot more. I think that's important for a card like this. Sprint boost. Do you know what I mean? It's it, it's a lot easier to feel how how good he is dribbling wise on old gen. This guy is playing like oh. This is so jarring to play. Oh, that one's on me a little bit. I can't lie. Nice from Ruben Diaz there. Play him in Foden. Oh, what a ball that is. DRB. 1-0. There we go. Foden with another one of them through balls. That he's been doing so much for me. I think he's really good for that on both both versions of the game. Just kind of finding that cutting through ball. Um, He seems to be so good at. Is he not offside? Man, this game feels absolutely atrocious at the moment. I just haven't aimed that over there. Jesus Lord, man. This is what's going to keep on happening. I'm going to win the ball back and he's just going to keep getting it straight back. Here we go. Go on, Phil. Nice. Yeah, you can really feel his dribbling on here, though. And how good it actually is. Because it is good. It is good. Nice. Phil. Sprint boost. Look at that. What was that turn, though? I'm not sold on this card, just generally. He does feel better over here, as I did expect. But I'm not really sold on the card. Um, I feel like there's so many players like this Phil Foden on the game now. Nice. It's a nice play. Good football there as well. Come on, Phil. <sighs> Got to score that. With the dead eye on, I expect that to go in every time. You know, he's, he's got, what, 97 finishing. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> okay, guys. I think it's time for highlights. Yeah, let's go to highlights from here. Unbelievable, by the way. I mean, you can see the dribbling, can't you? So much cleaner and clearer. I, mean, I know we haven't scored there, but the Lessig drill in there is just wild. It is so, so clear on old gen. Foden. Foden finally got a goal for us. He has not been on the score sheet at all. I think he's got like seven assists in the games we have played. But that's the first goal he scored. And it is really, really nice how responsive he feels on here. It really does help you enjoy him. Do I think this card is worth, what, 600k or how much he's coming in at? Absolutely not a chance in hell. He certainly does feel better over here, though, guys. Like, you could consider completing him on old gen. If you, if you play old gen uh, more. Oh, 
his pa his passing is ridiculous. His passing is ridiculous. All right, guys, her so review is in on Phil Foden. We played three games with him. He got one goal. He got seven assists. Now, this card on new gen is absolutely without a shadow of a doubt not worth doing because you just can't feel how good his dribbling actually is. And it really is a bad representation of his dribbling. And this card is more than anything meant to be good on the dribbling. And that's how you should be able to use him. And that is where this card becomes meta. Um, and on new gen, because the, the, the dribbling is, is hyper motion, you can't feel the, the quick turns, the really responsiveness of a card like this. And there is one redeeming factor to him on new gen. And it's, it's the same on old gen. You know, it's not a redeeming factor per se on old gen. But on new gen, his, his passing is redonkulous. He's got great passing, uh, really good on the through balls. If you're playing a narrow formation and you've got your two strikers running in behind, his through balls are like lasers into, into your strikers. And that is where we got most of our joy out of him. He got seven assists. So very, very good in terms of uh, through balls. Very good in terms of passing generally. His shooting it isn't the best, if I'm being honest. And he doesn't feel ridiculously fast for new gen. I still think he's an okay card. I wouldn't pay half the price, though, if I was a new gen player. As we move on to old gen, I feel like this guy is, is arguably worth it. Because... On old Jed, you can feel the left stick dribbling. He, he turns really quickly. He's responsive. And he's got insane sprint boost. His passing remains as good as it was on new gen. And you're able to get into better shooting positions with him. And utilize that a lot better. His shooting still isn't the greatest in the world. But it certainly does feel a lot better. I would maybe consider a maestro over the dead eye. To boost him reactions up if you're on old gen. But this card was decent when we moved over to old. Um, and if you are an old gen player... You can definitely consider this card. Once he gets to plus two, he'll be an absolute god on, on old gen, in my opinion. But, as I said, on new gen, wouldn't consider it. On old gen, definitely worth a consideration. Um, but is he better than any of the team of the season cards that we've currently got? Is he better than DRB? Absolutely not. Um, so, there's that to take into account. You know, Foden is the same price as DRB, almost. And, of course, DRB has uh, three-star weak foot, but five-star skills. So, it's all about what you prefer and yeah this card is good he's not great and he is overpriced as all hell as you kind of expect from a man city card in a showdown color setting so yeah fun to play with not the best card in the world overpriced but could be justified on old gen i'm going to rate him on new gen i'm going to give him a six and a half out of ten on old gen i'm going to give him an eight and a half out of ten decent player on old and a very average card on new gen. Guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to miss player review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.